Hey guys, today we're going to take a, a look at a neat rifle. This is a Smith & Wesson MMP 1522. It's uh, chambered in 22 long rifle. Really a neat gun. Uh, my friend Terry let me borrow this for this video, so thanks Terry. And uh, a big shout out to uh, Terry's dog Fritz. So what we got here is a basically a 22 rifle. Obviously looks like an AR-15. Got a red dot scope on it. So we're going to take a good look at it, then we're going to get over to range and put some rounds through it. It does have an adjustable buttstock on it. Got a very nice rear sight on it, fully adjustable. Picatinny rail, has adjustable front sight on it. Does take 25 round magazines. This gun is empty by the way. Looks pretty cool, don't it? This gun does have all your basic AR-15 controls on it. Magazine release. Bolt release. Safety. The uh, buttstock, upper, lower receiver, and the handguard, all made out of polymer. Makes for a very light rifle. Very durable. Easy to take apart, just like a standard AR-15. Don't want to spend a lot of time uh, taking the gun apart and discussing it because I want to put a lot of rounds through it but if you know how to take apart an AR-15 gun is very easy to take apart so you know what let me uh, let me show you some of the ammo we're gonna put through this gun today okay we're gonna start off with this federal target ammunition we're gonna shoot this at 50 yards it's got some CCI AR tactical, we'll see how well that works. We're going to shoot some Winchester bulk. Got some Remington Golden Bullets. Super X. Some more CCI. Another Super X. We're going to shoot some Wildcat and we're going to shoot some Thunderbolt. As you can see, we're going to shoot a lot of different brands today. If I have any problems with any of it, we'll stop and uh, we'll go over uh, what, uh, what uh, ammo it was that we had a problem with. But in the meantime, I've taken the uh, sights off of this and I've put on this UTG red dot scope. Actually, it, you can adjust it for red dot or a green dot. Just an excellent little scope. So, uh, you know what? Let's uh, get some targets set up and do some shooting. Hey, before we shoot any targets, uh, I took some of that ammunition I just showed you and just took a couple of rounds of each and just mixed it up real good and threw it in this magazine. So uh, I want to check the reliability with just this different mix of ammo. So uh, let's see how she does. Alright, 21 rounds. I have a feeling this sucker will shoot anything. At the 50 yard line I set up two of these and one of these little guys so let's zoom in and uh, take a couple shots. One round, one bowling pin. No bowling pins.
Yummy. Hey, I got my grandson here and he's just dying to shoot this, so Zach, you ready to shoot it? Heck yeah, let's go. Alright, let's go shoot it. Nice. Finish him off on the ground there. Is that fun? Yep. All right, good job. Look like Grandpa now. I had a blast shooting this gun today. Um, I put a lot of rounds through this and not all the rounds I shot through it are going to end up on the video. But I probably put 150 rounds through this today. Not one problem. Really an excellent gun if you're thinking about picking one up. I highly recommend it. You know what? I'm going to go home, clean this, get it back to Terry and uh, we'll see you guys next time.